Good morning, good morning, good morning. Marcus Conti reporting. Day after election day in America. The big election day. <clears throat> Do a reading first before you get into it. Tried to pick a reading that seemed appropriate for the times. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Mural, she said, read me the fourth commandment. Does it not say something about never sleeping in a bed? With some difficulty, Mural spelt it out. It says, no animal shall sleep in a bed with sheets, she announced finally. Curiously enough, Clover had not remembered the fourth commandment mentioning, mentioning sheets, but as, but as it was on the wall, it must have been so. And Squealer, who happened to be passing at this moment, attended by two or three dogs, was able to put the whole matter into proper perspective. You have heard, comrades, he said, that we pigs now sleep in beds of the farmhouse. And why not? You did not suppose, surely, that there was ever a ruling against beds. A bed merely means a place to sleep. A pile of straws in a stall is a bed. The rule was against sheets, which are human invention. We have removed the sheets from the farmhouse beds and sleep between blankets. And very comfortable beds they are, too but not more comfortable than we need. I can tell you, comrades, with all the brain work we have to do nowadays, you comrades would not rob us of our repose. Repuse. Rep repuse. Would you, comrades? You would not rob us of our sleep. Would you, comrades? Would you not have us too tired to carry out our duties? Surely none of you wish that wish to see Jones come back. <laughs> Fucking animal farm, right? I lost the cover. The cover fell off. Marcus Conti reporting. So the big election yesterday, right? So what's going on, right? I just want to... I got some notes here. I'm just going to read this shit. Into it. I was going to do a couple of different videos, like like the uh, Caesar Syac uh, uh, phenomena and... Uh, and then talk about the election. And I realized, you know, that, that they're the same thing. They're, one is one. That's the whole point of what we, what we were trying to say with the Caesar um, Syac uh, uh, effect. Let's call it that. The Caesar Syac effect. Right. Did he affect the election? Well, let's talk about it. Democrats um, will now control the House. The loony left is now in control of the House of Representatives. Right. Prior to this, they, they were they were blocked out of House and Senate, right? So the Republicans have advanced in the Senate, right? And the Democrats now control the House. And they're going to use that, they're going to use that strength completely, utterly, and totally to block Trump from doing anything, right? That's, that's now their, their, um, their leverage, right? In place of that leverage that they didn't have, they invented the fake Russia story and used Mueller as the guy, you know, Robert Mueller was the reason. He was the um, go-to guy to do what the the uh, House majority uh, can do, which Pelosi didn't have, right? So, so the Mueller thing was to circumvent Congress. That's the point of a special, that was the point of the special counsel. To blame Russia, get around, get around uh, the, 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 the fact that they didn't have a majority in the House. And, and try to take Trump down. Impeachment. We're going to impeach him. That was the point of it. So expect, uh, now that the uh, Democrats control the House, you could expect, uh, you could expect that to, to the Russiagate thing to wind down. You expect, you know, pretty much um, Mueller to go away. I just want to, I'm just pulling up the times here. This is, so this is the, this is the, what the, uh, the election result looks like. You see it? So you've got the, the, uh, on the on this side, you've got right there Democrats, uh, pretty much two nineteen to one ninety three in the House. That means they it's all about the majority. That's all that matters. You can look at the individual races all you want, but it, it, at the end of the day, it's all about the majority. In the Senate, they have uh, fifty one forty five, and they've got uh, the good. The Democrats have uh, the Republicans have fifty one forty five, and in the um, the governor's governor seats, you've got 25 Republicans to 22 
Democrats. So House is controlled by Democrats, Senate controlled by Republicans, governor's seats, which most of, if you want to look at rigging elections, that's where you would look. The Republicans now control that. And so that's out of the New York Times. Balance of power, that's the most important thing, right? So now that you have a, you know, well, let me just talk about this. So now, why does, why does Mueller get tossed aside? Because they don't need Mueller anymore. Now that the House is controlled by the loony left, they have subpoena power. They have vast amounts of, of um, investigative power to uh, pursue Trump and try to impeach him. That's the whole thing. Now, you're going to hear for two years, they're going to scream left, right, and center. They're already saying that they're not going to do it, but that's exactly what they're going to do. They're not going to, they're not going to agree to, to uh, anything Trump wants to do, and they're going to try to upseat him by putting in some shill Democrat in 2020. Is it working? Is their strategy working? Well, it, it, there's no fucking wave, that's for sure. If you're looking for a blue wave, that's not what that is. That was no fucking blue wave, right? But um, so let's just look at, let's, let's, let's look who, who we have. Okay. This is your new Speaker of the House. Nancy Pelosi talking about checks and balances. This is the sheep. This is the... the, the ending wealthy special interest free reign over Washington. But more than anything, it's about what a new Democratic majority will mean in the lives of hardworking Americans. Democrats, Absolutely nothing. That's what it's about. Democrats pledge a Congress that works for the people. For the people. Lower the cost of health care by lowering the cost of prescription drugs. Raise workers' wages with strong economic growth by build, rebuilding the infrastructure of America. Clean up corruption to make Washington work. She's reading. Americans. Read it, Nancy. We will take real, very, very strong legislative action to legislate, to negotiate down the price control of prescription drugs that is burdening seniors and families. Legislative action to legislative. She doesn't even know what she's talking about. Drain the swamp of dark interest money. She's she's the biggest money grabber there is. <sighs> so there's your new house. There's your new speaker of the house. Get get used to it. That's what you're gonna hear for the next two fucking years. So let's talk about um, let's talk about how how uh, Caesar Syac the the corruption how it affected the election. That's really you know what's going on here, right? So so I was in the courtroom yesterday, and um, oh, let's, let me show you I'll show you that picture. Uh, and you know I was there. This here it is. Right? I I saw this is about the best shot I've seen of it. This is a great great image right here. So there's um, Caesar Syac. Right. That's that. That's this is how it. it this is real. I was there. You see that the door, that door, um, that door right there. That's the door he came walking out. That's his lawyer down on right here. That's um, what's her name? Kim. Yeah, Jan Kim is the uh, the attorney. That's uh, Judge Learberger. <laughs> Makes me wanna. <clears throat> Makes me want to burp when I see that guy. So Judge Learberger and um, Caesar Syak, there he is in his scrubs. It's exact. He looks exactly. He's. I mean, it's proof of life. That's that's really what what, what it's about, right? It's proof of life. That's why I was there, right? And um, the only thing that the fake news got wrong. Fake news was reporting that uh, he was CNN ordered held without bail. Yeah, he was, but. 
that's not the story because his attorney um, never opposed. See, the, the, the government opposed bail based on flight risk and severity of the crime. And when the, it's a proposal that the government against Syak proposes to the judge. And then the, the Syak's counsel has the right to, to um, contest that idea. And she didn't. She never, she never contested the idea of uh, setting bail for a poor person with, uh, who has not been indicted. It's just unheard of. Right? That's, that is such a fucking flag. Right? Why do they want to keep him out? I, I mean, there's, there are, he's, he's a marked man. That's that's what that's talking about. So, so did he have? Does the point I was trying to make before? Does did Syak have an effect on the um, on the on the uh, election? Yeah, the, the Democrats, the lunatic left, just took the took the House of Representatives. People believe the nonsense that the mainstream media feeds them. They believe it, right? Because anybody who's paying attention, certainly here on this channel, you realize that. It is a false flag, that it is fake, that the, num that the whole story doesn't add up. You're seeing all, a million holes in the story and no evidence to support the fact that he did what he did. All right? So does this kind of crazy shit work? Yeah, it does work. So now you got to live with it, right? Someone on, um, on, in the comments said that uh, I can't take all this drama anymore. Hmm. You know, you know what it is? The idea is to not, you look, but you don't stare, right? It is crazy. And you can argue that what this channel is and, and my perspective is a rabbit hole, but it, it really isn't. It's a, it's a deeper look at, at the human condition, the, the, um, the profoundness of the lying and, and cheating and the greed and the justification, as I read in, in the beginning with Animal Farm, where, where, where the rules start to change, right? They start to that the goalposts, like you, you kick the ball at the goalposts, and then suddenly whoever's the, the referees move the goalposts. Say no, 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 no. You gotta, you can't kick from there. The, you gotta kick from from. You can't kick from the twenty. You gotta kick from the forty yard line. Right? Oh no, we're gonna move the pole a little. We're gonna make the poles a little smaller. Right? No, no, no. That was the rules. So didn't you? You didn't. You read it. The rules are on the on the board, right? Where's the rules? I got the rules. I'll read it to you later, right? See, they changed it. That's what's going on. They're changing the rules at, in mid game, right? And um, and that's just a, that's just a sign of the times. That's where we are. And if when you start to when you start to see it, right, it's disturbing, right? And it it causes you to say, I can't I can't follow this anymore. But the fact is that this is. This is what's going on. It is cheating. It is manipulation. It is election rigging, right? Why, if, if, if Syak had such a powerful effect on the election, which it now seems that these types of false flags, especially this one where you paint the Democrats, you paint a, uh, a, 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 any supporter of Trump, because the referendum in this election was about Trump. So the Democrat strategy is to is to smear Trump, right? And that's what they did. That's what a that's what a false flag like, like Caesar Syak is. It's a smear on Trump's strength, right? Does does it work? Well, the Democrats you you now have Nancy Pelosi as your Speaker of the House, and so it does work. So, what happens now? Now that you have now we go into 2020. Now the oh my name is Marcus Conti. And I'm a candidate for the United States Senate in 2020 against Chuck the Fuck Schumer, the uh, United States uh, Senator in New York. Uh, congratulations, you have C Kristen Gillibrand for six more years. But Chuck the Fuck Schumer is now up for uh, re-election in 2020. And uh, I, I, I officially place my hat in the ring against him. Not so much as a, uh, a write-in, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get the Green Party on board. So now you can expect um, crony capitalism, right? More of it. Uh, uh, nothing changes. Healthcare. See, the healthcare in America is in gridlock right now. That's what Nancy Pelosi's saying. Uh, pre, pre, let me hear it for pre-existing conditions. 
you know, they don't even fucking know what they're talking about. In a in a single payer universal uh, health care system where you eliminate the middleman and get big pharma out of the picture, that those sorts of arguments don't even exist. But they they want to keep they want to keep you know the the uh, the millions and millions of uh, the, the the half a million employees in uh, in the healthcare industry, big pharma uh, in place. Right? I got to thank my I. I got to congratulate in my district, right? Max Rose, guy, I, I attacked him. I called him a fraud and a money grabber and all these things. Right? He won, right? Max Rose is now the, uh, the one of the uh, House of Representatives. He beat Dan Donovan, the incumbent Republican in New York 11. That's the guy I chased around the street, calling him a fake and a fraud and a phony. <laughs> so congratulations, Max. Don't fucking kill me, all right? You know, it's it's uh, you could you should actually be thanking me. I brought attention to you and you won, right? Negative attention. Well, you got you fucking lunatic left. They 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 look at me calling you out on the truth and then they they perceive it as a hit piece, right? So, and then they vote the other way. They voted for you. So you got to thank me. My hit piece probably got you elected. You fucking asshole. Right, so um, so you could you could expect more. What's gonna? Uh, what I want to say is, what, what, what will the oligarchy? What will crony capitalism? How will they react to a house in control by the lunatic left? All right, so now the oligarchy sees that, right? They placed all the bets were on the Democrats. They had their money on the Democrats. That's why they won, right? It's cheating. It's consent. We don't know if if people actually voted that way, but that's. Because because today we just have to swallow the result like the like, you know, you re, you know, the, the rules are it is an election and that the people are choosing, but it's really not the case. And you got to swallow the result. So we're swallowing the result that the Democrats will control the House of Representatives all the way into the uh, 2020 election. Right. And so what the money will do now is the money is is they'll they'll shift because now the, le the left has a little power. And if they want to upseat Trump, if they want to keep pushing Trump out the door, which they have an interest in doing, um, or do they? I don't know. Yeah, they do because it's just a power grab. The, the more the more pressure they put on Trump, the more they get. Right? See, the oligarchy always wins. <clears throat> I keep saying it. The monopoly always wins. They're not gonna. It's the people that get fucked. We get fucked. Right? They get fucked. They they get more and more tax breaks, and the people are not just. The income and wealth inequality just continues to 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 uh, get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Right? So that's that's where we're at right now. So so expect the oligarchy to um, as we go into 2020, they're taking their bets off of some of the Republicans, putting it on the Democrats. Try to pr try to pressure, you know, keep the pressure on Trump. Just keep the whole thing. Keep people fighting. Keep people di distracted. Keep people arguing back and forth, left, right, the Democrats, the Republicans. None of it really, you know, none of it really matters in terms of, um, it, again, in terms of the uh, things for the American people. It's more about, it's more about a money grab. And how do we, how do we bring it back to the people? Well, I, again, I'm, I'm a candidate for the United States Senate, right? You want me to read some of my platform? You have to have 100% here. It's, it's on my, it's down below. It's on my side. You have to have, you have to have election integrity. You have to. 100 percent 100 percent hand count paper ballots you have to reduce the military spending by 80 percent you got to get the military industrial complex out of out of the picture raise the corporate tax rate to 80 percent the let me say it again the corporate tax rate to 80 percent not your tax anybody who makes over 20 million dollars in a corporation should be taxed very high fdr did it it's called a new deal it works if companies, people say, oh, the argument, oh, companies will leave if you tax them 80%. Guess what? They already left. They already left, right? They're not here. They're not doing business here. They take their money and they, they bring it. So fuck you. So you raise the corporate. I mean, I just made it 90%. I just, if 80, you don't like 80%? I just made it 90%. Raise the corporate tax rate to 90%. You cap the individual income tax. Your tax, any, any you know, the small people... Cap it at ten percent or less, because income tax actually is a new invention. Uh, uh, I think it was nineteen thirteen that people actually paid an income tax. Now it's forty percent. People accept it. It's ridiculous. Get rid of it. You don't need it. You don't need it when you tax the corporations. 
and you and you stop spending, you know, seven hundred billion dollars a year uh, in the military uh, against an enemy we don't have. Right? You make tax evasion and tax avoidance illegal again. Right? Right now, bribery in Congress and the Senate it's legal. It's all legal. Right? You could just you could fucking give as much money as you want. Pelosi's talking about dark money. It's all dark money. It's all dark money. They give money for a favor. Right? So you gotta get you gotta make that illegal again. You gotta lock people up. When someone when a politician gets caught taking ten cents that he shouldn't have taken, you gotta lock them up. That's that's what you have to do. Right? Stop locking up people that jump over the turnstile and, and smoke a joint on the corner and lock up the politicians that are stealing our democracy. And if you get caught bribing, not just not just taking the bribe, but also bribing the politicians. And that changes that would change a lot because what we call lobbyists are actually professional, you know, bribers, right? They go to Washington, they surround these politicians and they pay them they pay them pay them for favors, right? They can fucking every every congressman and senator has four lobbyists just on them. Right? You gotta get rid of that shit, right? And from there, you get free college tuition, city, state universities. That's easy. It's a fraction of the cost. You have a you have a universal single payer health care system where all people are covered at a fraction of the cost. A fraction of the cost to you, not the government, right? To you. The, overall, you have a healthier healthier uh, uh, people. People are not uh, afraid of losing health care, holding jobs. Right? Just because they have health care, expunge student debt. They shouldn't. That, that's that should have been done a long time ago. And slowly, you have to uh, convert U.S. power, power grid to uh, wind and solar. <clears throat> you got to get away from fossil fuels. You got to bring down big oil. You got to bring. You got to. I think climate change somewhat is real, and that uh, <clears throat> we have to go in the direction of uh, wind and solar. It's not a bad thing. It's not a fucking liberal thing. It's not a fucking socialist thing. It's a, it's it's common sense that you that you suck the power out of the the air and and the sun, not suck the fucking oil out of the ground and and destroy the planet. It's common sense. That's a common sense idea. Uh, term limits. Come on, come on. Fucking term limits. Term limits. House and Senate. Two years. Two terms. That's it. Four years in the Senate, that's your max. Four years in the House, max. Goodbye. Goodbye. After that, goodbye. Get some new fresh blood. Uh, raise the minimum wage to a living wage. Well, that, that's, a, that's a side product of all the things we're talking about. Close the FBI and CIA. Yeah, well, you got to get something in place of it. But for now, it's very corrupt. It doesn't answer to the executive branch anymore. It answers to the money. Right? So get rid of it and start over. No, no love lost there. Get rid of those guys, right? Um, and mass incarceration, poverty draft. Again, we have a a, a prison industrial complex as a result of, um, you know, uh, income and wealth inequality, keeping people poor, right? Like with Syac, right? Caesar Syac. They move him to Florida. They move him from Florida to New York, right? And when you consider the statistic that only that forty percent of the, uh, that sixty five percent of the country doesn't have $400 to their name, right? He can't even bring a witness on his behalf because nobody has, 65% of the country doesn't have money to, to travel or move around anymore, right? So do you see how, the, how poverty suits the oligarchy? Keep people poor, keep people afraid, keep people subservient, follow, you know, follow the policy, right? That's why they do it. Poverty helps the, uh, you know, or, or uh, you know, legalize, I got legalize all drugs as well. Yeah, well, pharmaceutical companies are, it, it's, a, it's a legalized form of drug pushing, right? So just get, rid, get them out of the way, right? And we'll, so let's see where the pieces fall, right? And uh, restore our right to bear arms, full right to bear arms, no restrictions, all right? No fucking gun style, no this gun, that gun can't have... There's, there's, there's a reason for it. The, the Second Amendment is in place to prevent government from tyranny, right? To keep government in check. That's the point of it, right? That if you, that, that if, if 40, you know, if there's 40 million, you know, gun owners in America, there's millions and millions of guns, if the military should decide to, you know, run people over like they're doing in, in Europe, 
right, where they're not armed. America is an arms pop populace, right? And that's a good thing. That's a good thing because when push comes to shove, the American people will pick up arms and the military will either lay down their arms or be sh shot as they're trying to invade someone's home. That's the point of the Second Amendment. Uh, I went on way too long. But my name is Marcus Conti reporting.